Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to reduce algebraic expressions. Now, there's actually a couple of ways to reduce algebraic expressions, but more often than not, you're going to see them uh, when it comes to reducing in fraction form, especially when you have the algebraic expressions as a numerator and a denominator. So here's one illustration, and then we'll get to another one. For example, if you have something like 3a to the fifth, b to the fourth, over 6a squared, b to the ninth, hypothetically, you can reduce algebraic expressions by simply reducing the numbers and the exponents, provided that they're the same base. So for example, if you have the 3 and the 6, you know 3 and 6 reduces by 3. There's a 1 left over, there's a 2 left over. With a to the fifth and a squared, because the bases match, you can reduce by two of them, so there'd be a to the third, and the a's are completely gone. And then with the b to the fourth and b to the ninth, because nine is more than four, it's got, actually got five more, the b to the fourth completely cancels, and you have five. So basically, this expression reduces to a to the third over two b to the fifth. Now, you may also, depending on the situation, reduce by factoring. So for example, if you had x plus five over three x plus 15, for example. Now, because the terms are separated by addition, you really can't do that. They have to be separated by multiplication uh, or division for you to be able to reduce. So, now this x plus five, there's really nothing that can be reduced here, so they both have a one in common. Seems kind of redundant, but you'll understand why uh, very shortly, why we did this. And then for the three x plus 15, you can factor out a three, because that's what they have in common. And then what's left over, you have an x and then plus five. Now notice, the difference between this and this is that they're separated, the operation that separates the terms is actually multiplication, not straight addition here. So what happens is they have one times x plus five and three times x plus five, the x plus fives are gone, so you're left with one third, and this expression is now reducible. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a couple of examples on how to reduce algebraic expressions.